You have probably experienced the fun of watching videos from iTunes and YouTube on your iPhone. You can also quite easily watch these directly on your television with the right equipment. If you have previously had a video iPod that you have watched on your TV, then you probably have a cable like this. Unfortunately, this cable won't work with your iPhone. In fact, in our tests, our cables and docking stations, which work very well with a video iPod, do not work with the iPhone. Instead, you need a cable like this. This is an iPhone composite video cable made by Apple. If you don't have these type of connections and instead of a SCART connection, you can buy a converter like this one which will allow you to use this cable. You can also get a similar cable which outputs to component video which will give better quality if your TV has component inputs. At this time it's uncertain if any aftermarket cable will work with the iPhone. We have tried some with no success, so we would advise getting the Apple one, which will definitely work. There are a couple of settings we need to check before starting to play video on your TV. If you go to settings and scroll down, then select the iPod, then scroll down to TV out. Here there are two options, widescreen and TV signal. If you have a widescreen TV with 16 to 9 rather than an older 4 to 3 TV, you should select on. If your TV is an NTSC, which is common for North America, then you should select NTSC. If it's in a PAL region, such as the UK, then you should select PAL. Now to get the video from your iPod into your TV, simply plug the phono connections into your TV, the iPhone connector into your iPhone, and then select either your iPod application or YouTube. You should also select the AV input channel on your TV. At this point, the video will no longer be output on the iPhone. The iPhone will be used as a remote control to press play, pause, volume, etc. Press play and you'll see the video on your TV screen.